my loves, I'm Miss Monmon. Welcome to my channel. Today we are embarking on a quest. A quest to go into the city and find a lipstick refill. Why do we need a lipstick refill? Because I bought this. This is a vintage lipstick canister and I think this one is either from the 40s or the 50s. So, so pretty. I, I couldn't leave it. When open, you just have this little bit and inside here, you put your lipstick refill. Now there are two kinds of lipstick refills. There is a lipstick refill where you can just put the physical crayon of the lipstick inside a mechanism that already has the wind up bit, or there are lipsticks which actually are just the wind up bit that you can pop into the bottom of one of these canisters and then you'll have a travel lipstick to go. We are looking for the latter kind. Lipstick refills were really popular in the 40s and the 50s because plastic wasn't really around. So ladies would buy beautiful vintage, I suppose back then it would be modern, makeup canisters and packaging, and then just buy refills of the product. So you would have one compact which would last you technically a lifetime. We don't do that anymore. If you want a new lipstick, people go out and buy the whole new lipstick and just throw out whatever they don't have. By using these vintage canister, I'm hoping to cut down on waste, but it's going to be a challenge finding a lipstick that fits because a lot of the refills that I found online don't have measurements. So I'm going to try head into the city. I'm also not at home. I am currently in Canberra, our nation's capital. And unfortunately with Canberra having a smaller population, they don't have all the brands and products that bigger cities would have. So we are going to these four stores. We have Sephora and Mecca, which are straight up beauty stores. So for all my US friends, that is basically your Ulta, but not as big. We don't really have as big Sephora's as you guys do. Other two stores are Maya and David Jones because they have a beauty section and this is our department store. After a little bit of research, I found that these are some companies that I can get lipstick refills from, which is a lot more than I thought. The more I research, the more I find. The first one, which will be the easiest, will be Dior. Dior does sell lipstick refills, but I don't want to buy one online, even though how they package it is really beautiful because I need to make sure it fits. So Dior is our first choice, followed by Charlotte Tilbury and Gucci. Now these brands are quite high end. They're even a little bit out of my budget, but what I'm hoping is to just try and show you guys whether finding a vintage refill is easy to do. If our quest is to fail, which I'm really hoping it doesn't, I will try to find something online and we will continue this quest, but that is not the energy we are putting out. No, no, we are going to first try, first attempt, nail it. Let's go. I've actually never been to the city center of Canberra or Civic as the locals like to call it, but oh my gosh, there are bunnies. There are bunnies on this massive roundabout, which I have now dubbed Bunny Island because no one knows the name of the roundabout. They do not appreciate you coming up to them, but I still had to go for a walk on this little bit of garden. Can we call it garden? I didn't go onto Bunny Island, but my partner promised me that he will take me to Bunny Island, so yay. Our first stop was Sephora because they have Charlotte Tilbury and Dior. I found the Dior straight away. I found the lipstick refill straight away. But the problem was the sample was glued right up against the display. So I couldn't get my little canister underneath to see it'll fit. I don't know whether Sephora is the same where you live, but every Sephora in Australia, the staff see you and they run away. Maybe they take after the bunnies on the island. So I couldn't get any assistance. Our next stop was Mecca. Whilst in Mecca, I did have a look at the Charlotte Tilbury display and a really lovely staff member did come up to help me. And she did a bit of research and found out that the refills were only done online. In both Sephora and Mecca, I tried to find Gucci, but all I could really find was a couple of Gucci perfumes. And when I did ask the staff, 
they said they only sold it online, which really isn't helpful because I wanted to make sure that the refill would fit. So we decided to try the two department stores. We had David Jones and Maya, and all I found at them were Dior. They had nothing else. I did take a punt and go to a Mac counter but the lady just said that they don't do refills. Our quest in the city to find a lipstick refill for my vintage lipstick canister failed miserably. I ended up consoling myself and going out and getting a bubble tea, but I did buy some records, which is exactly what you wanna buy when traveling. I really make questionable travel purchases. And then we headed home. <sighs> well, that was a disappointment. My day in the city was absolutely lovely, but unfortunately I could not find a lipstick for my vintage canister. I wonder if I was in a bigger Australian city, like let's say I was doing this in Sydney or even Perth, where there are more brands and the stores don't just have everything online. Maybe we would have had a different outcome but for now, the quest is over. I am not gonna give up finding a lipstick for this canister. What I'm gonna do now is be very sad, but enjoy my new record. And I'm gonna go online. I know that YesStyle, which I get all my Korean beauty products from, has a couple of lipstick refills. The main one I want to go for is Paul and Joe, which is a French company. I have used their lipstick before and loved it. Although when I bought them, I was going through a, I can totally pull off light orange as a lipstick. Absolutely could not. Unfortunately, they will take over a month to reach me as they don't have the products in stock, but they're in one of the older warehouses. So part two will be coming in maybe a month or two, depending on the schedules. I was so sure we could do this today. I even had my depression pants on. Yeah, that's what I call jeans. This may not have been the most fruitful video, but I wanted to create it anyway, just in case somebody else is trying to find a lipstick refill for their own vintage canister. If you know of a brand that does refills that you have found worked for your own canisters, please let me know. I am finding that a lot of the higher end brands do do refills, but I cannot afford a $97 Hermes lipstick refill. At that point, I wanna just buy their actual packaging if I'm going to drop $100. I'm only in Canberra for a couple of days. This was not very much the most planned trip. <laughs> I, I literally didn't tell my partner I was coming up. I just sort of rocked up. So I'm hoping later on in the year I will come and actually have a holiday in Canberra because I have not seen anything apart from work. Thank you so much for joining me on this quest. Even though we didn't get what we wanted, I still had a lot of fun and trying a different kind of filming, a bit more of a follow me around kind of vibe. So let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys all next week with a brand new video, but until then be kind, be true, be you and have a beautiful week. Bye.